Well, it is like day two, and it is like 11.20. And for at least five, six hours a day, I spent it on getting my cousin's little video to, to upload right. For some reason, we're having problems. We finally got it done, and throughout the day, I've been taking videos, and we did this, uh, what I call Boo the Monkey. And we did a couple of really cool scenes where it kind of snuck up to them. And, and this little monkey got makes this crazy laughing noise. And they're all looking around and can't figure out what it is and stuff. It was pretty funny. Uh, had about a dozen of my friends talking. And we're just having a great time and riding around Charlotte, all of that. And I get over here to download everything. And there's no sound. And somehow, some reason... You had to take about five steps to get to this little button that you push that says no audio while recording. And somehow I did that. I don't know how, but I, I found the way. So I don't have anything today. I have two hours of video taped today, all the different places. And it would have been really so good. But... I'll just have to look at it as me taking a day of really getting into the groove of it and used to it and all. And you're know, holding up the camera and people looking at you like you're kind of crazy. Like, hey, talk to the hand. You know, holding the camera up and stuff. So, we'll do it all over again. Hope that I can uh, inspire you guys to just be yourselves. It's always a better painting when... You just express yourself and do the best that you can. It doesn't matter what level you are. If you just started your first day to pick up a brush or if you're doing it for years. It's always better to have a painting that's even flawed. If you did the best you could and, and what you felt inside you, you just put it out as truthfully as you can. It's always better than like a perfect Bob Ross painting. I hope that I'll give you inspiration with the work that I do open your eyes to when you look at one of my paintings and you look outside and you see the wonder of the play of the universal forces and the light of the divine that's in everything that surrounds us. It's like a, a symphony or movement of things that just kind of goes all the way around us. And when you're in the moment, you hear it. You can hear this music like angels singing. So I'm going to kind of go right now, and I'll catch you tomorrow, and it's going to be a brand new day. And we're going to make sure we have the audio. I might even pick up another camera, and I'm going to get one for the motorcycle too, so that when I'm going places, you can see where I'm going, and it'll be pretty cool. So I'll talk to you guys later. Sorry about the day. I gave it my best shot, and I did not see that coming about the audio. Uh, it gives me a, it had me a day to really get into the groove of things, and so it's just going to keep getting better. And when we get uh, Jamie, she's going to be coming down for a visit, or when uh, go towards Lake Waccamaw, Gladenboro. And we're going to just hang out, go to the lake. She's got a lot of humor, a lot of fun, and stuff. She's a real cool person to be around, and so you'll pick up on that when you see her. So for this evening, I say good night and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.